Okay, I keep reading all these horror stories about LS7 engines failing, and um, nobody wants to address something that I noticed when I took this engine apart is the factory preload that they put on on the lifters here. Um, these heads just got back from Lingenfelter. Um, they, they look amazing, by the way. Um, they were not uh, milled in any way. The block was never decked. It's running a factory head gasket. So what I did right here was it's got the lash cap on the intake. Um, I put the factory push rod in here. Uh, it's 7.8 inches long, and this is a factory rocker, and it's set right now. It's at zero lash. These two are also set at zero lash. I'm running the lash caps on intake and exhaust, and I'm running Texas Speed roller rockers, and I'm running two different size push rods because it's very important to get the preload perfect on these. I just want to show you what the factory preload is on an LS7 here. So go right here. We got half a turn. Another half turn, so that's one full turn. And we got another half turn, and it still isn't bottomed. It's getting close. And right there, it's bottomed. So we got about almost one in, you know, one in three quarters turns, just a little bit under that, which is probably about 80 to 90 thousandths preload. And you're going to spin this engine to 7,000 RPM. That's, that's like a recipe for disaster. Now here's here's what I got going here. Now these again these are all just at zero lash. So we got half a turn on this one. Right about there. Fully bottom, so I don't even get one full turn on there. That's running at about forty thousandths preload on that one. Half a turn, right there. Crank it, bottom. Again, that's about thirty-five to forty thousandths preload on that one. You're never going to have a pump-up issue on these lifters where it's going to hang a valve open and smack a piston. These engines run at about almost a tenth of an inch of piston to valve clearance. But if you're running it like this one. And you got 90 thousandths preload on the lifter. If that lifter pumps up, you just you just eliminated 90 thousandths of clearance between that valve and that piston. And it's going to happen at, at a real high RPM. You know, something's going to give eventually. And that, that's going to be a potential problem. You could probably fix this just taking a stock LS7 apart and swapping out these 7.8 inch push rods for a set of uh, BTR 7.7 five inch push rods and you just gained yourself a little bit of you know extra peace of mind just by fixing that anyway that's it